54 3 8 micro lithium cordless long neck ratchet the best ratchet on the planet What up guys Soupy the tool addict Woo I thought I'd uh share the old snap on heavy duty flyer but I did notice this wasn't quite as heavy duty as I thought after I started looking through this so I thought let's uh, pull it up and let's give it a look see and talk about it. So right on front we got the Pro ProLink. I have used this one, not the newer, not this newer one, uh, the older one. I don't know if this is is faster than the older one, but I do have a video up about that. So let's move right in here. We got the high definition high definition imager. Um, this is a new one, twenty two thousand dollars. Uh, I think Snap-on's lost this market. I don't know. If you guys are a fan of this uh, imager, boroscope, whatever you want to call it, let me know down in the comment box what your thoughts are. My personal feelings are is I've got a couple different ones, and I sw I, I've had bad luck in the past with my uh, Snap-on one, or with a Snap-on one. I just... And this one does have a high-definition display. Um, I know there's going to be some Snap-on guys that will probably... Uh, chime in if they do that's great i you I mean the, i just want to see where the justification is because there's such a wide gap in these so uh without getting into this too much we might talk about this more but anyways let's move right along here we've got the articulating articulating imager arm for another thousand dollars that's three grand you'd have into it which i don't know many people that have that right over here we have a tool that i have and i've actually done a video on i probably should do another one on wire insertion tool set now i've used this about three times this is a tool that uh they have another one that's flexible and i and i have i wanted to get that accessory but they make you buy the whole kit for it now, i don't know what the part number is for it but it's actually kind of handy um but i have this kit and i have used this quite a bit actually well not quite a bit but like i said like three or four times uh it's it's nice 95 dollars might be a little bit pricey they have a couple of thexton makes one it's a little bit cheaper it's about 50 bucks but i like the snap on because it has all the attachments with it the texton's only got like two it's got like the big and the little so it's definitely a nice tool i don't know why they have this in the, this is why this heavy duty flyer didn't make much sense to me we were just talking about thermal imagers the other day um i have the e eth 311 1215 dollars it was 700 when i bought it uh, the price has really gone up. Go heat reads up to eighteen hundred. Uh, I have looked at this other one, which is a newer one. The uh, uh, I actually done a video on that EETH three eleven two. The three ten um, is supposed to be updated a little bit, and it doesn't have the glitching in it. And I think that's got side by side display too, unless this is the older one. Uh, I can't remember the part numbers on all of them. Wi Fi uploads in images. I'm kind of out on these now, too, because FLIR makes a nice one. Uh, and once again, this is a market that I think that Snap-on's losing ground to. Um, once again, let me know in the comment box what you think. So, Wi-Fi to upload images now. Uh, that's an, that's another one. Um, it is a nice tool. I will say it's it does a lot of features. I, I, I mean, the problem is, is the price gap on them is just so wide. I mean, like, you can buy a nice Flare one or a couple other brands that do pretty good. It's not a tool that I use enough to justify spending two grand on. And I bought mine for $700. They were just out. The, the 311 was just out for $700, and now they're $1,215. So they've almost doubled in price. Moving along, heavy-duty diagnostic cart. I like the setup. Uh, seventeen thousand dollars for that kit for the Pro Link Edge. If you're into heavy duty stuff, I hear guys ask about it all the time. There's several other out there. I don't do a lot of heavy duty, so I'm not a big proprietary of it. I've used the Pro Link. I think it was. I don't think mine was an Edge, and I I'll, you might have to search through this archives for. It, but I think if you put in Snap On Pro Link, Link and search my videos, you can see, and it was absolutely really slow. So. But it is what it is. Uh, pinpoint leak detection. Here's uh, we were just talking about this the other day at a shop, a buddy shop of mine. High pressure, heavy duty smoke machine finder. I could just bought the Ansel. This goes down to three psi. So you guys that are interested in buying a smoke machine, um, 
red line is the only one and it goes down to two and i know that's a big problem with some things is the pressure for for testing certain things so kind of a gray area that you never hear anybody talk about about smoke machines is, is your diesel stuff you need the higher pressure stuff and then you need lower pressure stuff for the car stuff so if you're one of those guys that's kind of kind of trying to bid for both of them that's something to look for so make sure you always watch that low pressure because down three psi might be too much for too much pressure for testing on some stuff all right we got the end uh the uh air tools here all air tools we got 35 10 34 40 uh those are the one inch drives long and short anvil we have the 23 40 for the one inch drive heavy duty impacts and then the regular anvil uh 2300 uh not much experience with those then we got some three quarter guns here 14 10 uh not much experience with those either and then we have half inch drive stubby impacts uh i haven't heard any any really bad uh problems with these fact snap-ons air tools have definitely came around they used to be terrible when i first started being a tech in the early 2000s late 90s it was always Mac for me or Ingersoll ran, but uh, Snap-on's starting to come back around. I think they've got some decent stuff. Six six fifty five. If you're willing to pay that for it, you know that is what it is. Uh, then we have the blue points for three ninety eight for a half inch drive, and then a three eight the old Pecker <laughs> three thirty ninety five for a three eight blue point. I and I you guys know how I feel about blue point. I'm not a fan. Uh, usually, if it's not Snap-on, I'm, I'm not buying it. Uh, that's all there is to it off the truck. Cause just like this heavy-duty air hammer, 322, that's, uh, I can buy an Ingersoll Rand for cheaper, and it's absolutely better. Uh, Half-inch drive, Super Duty uh, Air Ratchet, 535. Three-inch drive, Long Neck, 510 Air Ratchet. I believe they just came out with that one not too long ago. We have the one in one horse heavy duty die grinder for 540. That's kind of a beast. Uh, I don't know anybody else out there. I don't know any other one one horsepower uh, die grinders. I've heard a couple guys that have that love that uh, die grinder. It's a it's a it's a it's a heavy duty jammer. So long long neck die grinder 445. Definitely pricey, but you're getting a hell of a hoss for that. They're air hose polyurethane air hose. Now these used to be lifetime warranty um 423 dollars is a lot but i will tell you this much right now uh if you buy a snap-on air hose and you have a problem with hoses getting broke or replacing them a lot this is definitely the way to go my buddy has sworn by it he paid 250 bucks for his airline he's got 25 footers in every one of his shop stalls and he swears by snap-on because the snap-on guys has replaced his about every two years so just something to think about uh i i know at 250 bucks it's probably a lot compared to and some people will disagree with me that's okay but uh it is what it is tire truck inflator blue point 234 six inch dual function sander 630 and then we have some chucks here uh i don't buy any of that stuff off the truck torque wrench tech angle three quarter inch big boy 1990 dollars 600 foot town pounds and this is the cream of the crop uh right here this is the top of the line three quarter inch tech angle and you know if you guys watch project farm video you know that the snap-on torque wrenches are definitely on their game for being accurate um and that's one thing that he proved in that video uh, a lot of people didn't quite quite catch on to that i noticed in the comment section but snap-ons definitely held out uh tq series torque wrench now this is Something that I will definitely put up against. So, you know, Snap-on owns CDI. So, these are CDI's torque wrenches. And uh, $1,360. And then, but the half-inch drive fixed head uh, for $495. So, we have the fixed head click torque. It's kind of pricey. But you can go and get a precision torque uh, rent, uh, torque exactly like this three-quarter one with the breaker bar attachment in it for like 500 bucks i think is what they are i i got a smoke deal on mine i paid three three seventy five or something but yeah uh half inch drive this is actually the one that um project farm tested this half inch drive here on the right uh the 60 to 300 foot pound 684 dollars so uh yeah that's my uh spiel on those Moving right along, we got some ratchets. Now, I noticed there's 
pushing off their locking flex head. I'm sure a lot of you are aware that Snap-on came out with some new ones, so uh, I'm not sure what the story is here, but here's the prices on them, half-inch drive, uh, and we did talk about this the other night on my live streams. The locking flex heads do have a bigger shaft on them. I don't know if that helps in increase the strength on them, but they're quite a bit bigger, and I think I want to say it was 17... Uh, what was it? I don't remember what the measurement was on it. <laughs> Something I, I can't remember, but I did. We did confirm that the uh, locking flex heads have a bigger shaft on them versus the standard uh, ratchets. So a lot of guys don't like this design. I'm sure I'm going to hear a lot of people say that in the comments, and I'm not a big fan of it myself. But uh, there's a few people, and uh, here's your price on 191, 95, 215, 95, 202, 95 for your three eighths in variation, and then your half inch drives are obviously 314 down to 298, so about 300 bucks. Either way you go on there, we got a breaker bar for 252. Uh, please don't say. The Pittsburgh breaker bar comment. Um, this is a 36 inch breaker bar, by the way, not a 24. Uh, we have a large marine screw plug, screwdriver plug that actually comes in handy for those coin, those uh, long slotted plastic tabs. Uh, $43 for, to do that. You can buy a uh, PB Swiss for cheaper, but four four, four four piece instinct pick set for $90.95. Moving right along here, we're getting long winded today. I'm we got some dead blow sledges, 426, 207, 5, 8, and 11 pounders. We got the 10 pound, 6 pound heavy duty hammers. These are definitely rebranded by probably Nupla, I'm saying. These are probably Nupla hammers, judging by the handle. Nupla is the only one that does that design. We have the chisel taper punchers, 18 inches for 143. Those are kind of badass. They're like giant punches, but chisels 135.95 i've been always wanting to get one of those the 54 inch heavy duty big dog uh 277.95 i'm gonna go with the mayhew uh just my preference 10 inch straight blade striking pry bar 35 at 25 um straight blade striking pry bar oh that's a straight blade one right on they got those uh we got a heavy duty combination pliers they just came out with those not too long ago 83.95 89.25 Hex driver taper reamers, those things are invaluable, let me tell you. Uh, I I need to get those right there. I, I've been wanting to find somebody. I didn't realize that Snap-on had those, but these reamers are definitely game changers. The metal pry bar fabrication tool, $28.95. Uh, the new Lyle one is the way to go, guys. Uh, I just did a video on that. I definitely like the Lyle one all day long. We got the port of power 10 ton for eighteen hundred dollars the four ton for thirteen hundred dollars tig welding 20 98.20 and then you got your helmets over here 594 so roughly about 600 about down to five four hundred bucks here for them and then the uh skull auto darkening welding helmet with light attachment on the side how about that it's got a flip out light 648.95 Moving right along here, we've got some cordless tools. We got the cordless monster lithium caulk gun, $810. The grease gun, $850. The belt sander for $950. We have the grinder for $1,000. And the monster lithium standard grinder, $855. Holy shiitake mushrooms. Uh, those are they're not scared uh and then we get in right in here some more cordless stuff three quarter inch 740 uh these are actually not bad oh 12 excuse me tool only the kits are 1300 dollars, down to 1200 for the half inch drive ct 905k which definitely packs a punch nine piece lug tool flank drive socket 972.95 and uh <clears throat> according to some sources these are being made by snap-on now i guess they're not buying them by uh, or not, they're not getting them made made by uh not rocket socket locket socket i can't remember what twist sock twist socket that was the other company that made them twist there's two companies that make in america uh besides i don't think Irwin's are made in america anymore but rocket socket and twist socket are both made in america still they both have companies out in the east coast 14 4 3 8 micro lithium cordless long neck ratchet the best ratchet on the planet in my opinion um i love this ratchet 
I would not trade it for anything else, and I'm not going to get into that. Uh, the, it, first of all, it doesn't have a paddle, and that's one, and then the switch is the second thing, and I love it. And quite frankly, I bought both mine for $500. I got a smoking deal once again, proving that the Snap-on truck doesn't always follow the prices that you're saying. Uh, there's always deals that come up on the trucks, and that's when you want to buy. Sometimes the flyer isn't the right place. Sometimes they got truck deals, so... Power inverter, 8725, and then the big 2700 lumen cordless light, 260. Uh, we got the, some kits here. We got start your engines, heavy duty uh, engine starter, blue point, $1,062. Cables, 360. We got a power inverter for 787. We got some CompuCheck fuel pressure tester, 568. And these kits are all interchangeable, I do believe. Uh, Ford Power Stroke fuel pressure tester, 568. Cummins 553 and the Duramax for 504. So that's a $2,000 set right there uh, all day long. Uh, we got the diesel compression gauge 325, and then we have the air powered cooling cooling system pressure tester 376. That is definitely valuable. This one over here, uh, the truck coolant refiller 571 for the big dog trucks. We got some. 32 inch sliding lid 12 inch deep compatible three door cart i believe this one is made in algona here in iowa 954.95 that's not too terrible for uh for a cart oh that's a blue point that one's definitely not made here then yeah sorry my bad before you guys went off in the comment easy mount magnetic toolbox kit 104 three row socket trays these are lifetime warrantied too through my dealer they are anyways uh that's why i always buy snap on ones of these those are my favorite organizers for sockets 36 bucks for those uh each uh three eighths 38 and then your half inch or 45 uh we got some tool organizing wrench rings 12 rings for 47.95 and then we have the six piece a lot of guys don't talk about those those wrench rings can some guys like those so they can grab them out quick especially like uh, road service guys i noticed uh but we have the six piece organizer organizer set um yeah i'm not really a big fan of that wrench racks okay 173.95 easy mount stuff sidewise nylon phone case more stuff i mean this is a big flyer here jesus i'm getting right in this five foot tool storage light bar with magnetic switch 688.95 i think i only paid 100 bucks through mac for mine it comes with two lights that spread out definitely over six foot so i don't know that's a lot of money for the light bar uh use your floodlight i'm sorry guys i'm cheap sometimes i love my snap on stuff but man i don't know uh this light combo pack is pretty awesome it's a little pricey but 2700 lumen light combo kit comes with three lights i'll tell you what that can keep you running all day long most guys right there that's my biggest problem is lights going out but 2700 lumens on high all three lights so uh yeah 900 yeah i'm down a lot this blows my mind right here the wireless charging light system so i have this and i didn't even pay nowhere near 276 dollars the inflation is just killing me these days 276.95 and i think i paid which it's a little different light now i think than what i had looks like it's an upgraded light but i think i paid 150 bucks for this uh kit here but you can buy them separate too which is nice so i guess when someday i have to upgrade it i will but then we have the dual conversion lights kit over here for 262 which is nice I, it's this is the way everybody wants to go trust me uh rechargeable active cooling pocket light 169 95 that would hurt your wallet when you when that when you lose that sucker 450 lumen rechargeable clip light 117 electronic caliper for 323.95 uh these are very precision i know guys in their machine shops like them i don't do that good of measuring so i don't want to spend that kind of money but six inch electronic rotor clip caliper uh 292 and uh, 12 inch electronic digital caliper 199 feeler gauge set I don't have the one in there I like, but $36, not terrible. It's blue point. $23 for the other one for the standard uh one over there. And then the step feeler gauge set for $31.95. We have the magnets, which are almonds. They call them blue pin blue points, but they're almond almond device uh magnets. 
38 9, 25 for the telescoping magnet pickup tool and the lifts up to 10 pounds. One thing about buying these on the Snap-on truck is they do warranty them. So I do buy all my magnets from Snap-on just for that fact. Flexible magnet, 5 pounds, $29.95. That one is a lifesaver. Uh, and then we have the lights over here, rechargeable foreign lumen for $106.95. I'm tired of seeing lights, guys. I don't know about you. We got some shop equipment, $22,000 for a cleaner, but... The only thing this one doesn't have that I like is a skimmer on some other ones that I've seen. Uh, this is kind of, which is kind of blows me away for twenty-two thousand because I've been looking at these just for, you know, grins. But uh, a skimmer it cleans off the sludge and stuff off this when you're doing the cleaning. But uh, yeah, cart mount, oil fired, gas engine pressure eighteen thousand. Uh, can't beat a hot seat. Uh, power jet flow nozzle i have that 143 that's went up 43 dollars i paid 100 bucks for mine off the truck we got some safety supplies nitro gold which works really good 181 for a whole pack of that and guys that's the ticket right there that's the last one so if you stuck around this far and you listened to me babble on about this let me know in the comment box because you're part of, part of the few and the proud and, uh, you know, uh, I just appreciate to see who all watches this all the way through. And uh, I appreciate you guys very much for everything. I appreciate all the thumbs up, appreciate the likes, and appreciate all the subscriptions. So anyways, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.